Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Bunjamin Bakcho. I bring you another video today. Gonna be doing a race in Assetto Corsa Competizione. So, I've downloaded this uh, a little while back, but other than trying, I think it was like the first two or three things in career mode, I haven't really touched this game uh, that much. I tried a couple of the special events last week and I uh, kind of started to like this game, so I, I figured I'd uh, put a video up and See if I can have some of you guys help me get a little bit better at this game. I don't have too much experience in this, so uh, just bear with me here. Uh, we're going to be doing a quick race, 15-minute race at Silverstone. Opponent skill and aggressiveness at 90%. I don't really know if that's uh, too easy or too hard, but uh, we'll, we'll just have to we'll see. And uh, I know a lot of people, when I talk to them about ACC, they say that the Bentley is probably one of the... Uh, more noob friendly cars so we're gonna go with uh with the bentley there using the racing line just because like i said i'm not super experienced in this game but we'll see how it goes i don't know where i'm starting i don't know much about setups either uh so if anybody has a resource for setups like a website or something like that um that they use please feel free to leave it down in the comments section uh, so i can kind of figure out how to set up these cars it's really hard to find uh, websites that, that you can trust with, with um, pretty decent setup. So we'll go with the aggressive setup here. Nah, maybe we'll go with the safe setup. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know how, how much faster the aggressive is, but we'll go with the safe just because I'll probably be driving slow anyway. Starting P21. Okay. Here we go. Also, if anybody has any advice or tips on how to get better at this game, please feel free to leave it in the comments section. I mostly play um, more arcadey and simcade-ish games like GT Sport and the F1 series. So the more hardcore sim games are kind of new to me. So. Uh, yeah, if you're going to criticize me, please at least make it constructive criticism or make it funny. Nothing worse than asshole-ish negative criticism. Um, but yeah, at least make it entertaining. So here we go. I just picked Silverstone because I know this track. It's, it's in every other racing game that you can find. Uh, so even though I don't know how to really drive this track in this car, at least I know the layout and can kind of figure it out. But... Um, is, is 90 kind of low? 90% difficulty? I feel like these cars are going kind of slow. I'm not used to driving a right... Uh, right-sided... Or right-hand drive car, I should say. Either, so this will be kind of different. Can I make a dive? I like that little spider web thing in the middle there. That pops up whenever there's a car close to you. Oh, okay. Maybe we don't downshift there. That made it a little unstable. Alright, so I know in the F1 games, it's uh, the quickest way around the tr a corner is to really... Uh, blast down the gears uh, I don't know if that's the quickest way in this game as well so let me know should I be breaking hard and then blasting down the gears really quickly or should I be downshifting as the car slows down whoa whoa what happened there yeah. so some of you guys can let me know what the most efficient way around a corner is. And is dirty air... Does dirty air play a huge part in this title? I would assume not as much as the F1 game as there isn't quite as much... Uh, 
arrow on the cars, on these GT cars, but I don't know. Simple questions, simple stuff like that. I, I don't even know. I think I, I think maybe I have about four hours into this game, and most of that four hours is just doing random hot laps at random tracks and, right. and various cars and stuff. So. Also, is it okay to go down in the first gear in this in this game? I know in the F1 games, you really want to avoid first gear unless you're about to totally miss a very tight corner. Can I get... I think I can get away with just a lift here. Whoa. Yeah. I think if that car wasn't in front of me, I could have just gotten away with a lift. Uh, I don't know what that turn number is. It's turn one in the F1 games, but... I'm not sure what turn number it is in here. But yeah, it's I, I I would assume going into first gear is not as bad as it is in F1 games. Just cuz these cars don't go quite as fast. But again, I don't know. I don't I don't play this game um, enough to know. So somebody else uh, can answer that for me. And is it possible to do this, to to do races without, like with traction control at zero, or is that not really advi advised? I have to be really easy on the brakes here. Locking up and unsettling the rear end is really easy in this game. I feel like I could go, go faster than these cars in front of me. Is 90 too low? Is that like really, really easy? Should I make a dive here? I think I'm going to try it. Okay, maybe 90 is a little bit too easy. That was uh, that wasn't that difficult to get out in front of that car. Also, I'd appreciate it if you guys graded my driving in this game. Keep in mind, I am still a total noob, so I know compared to top esports drivers it's it's probably really bad but for somebody that's only got about three hours in the game how do you think I'm, I'm driving am I doing some things correctly am I am I doing nothing correctly am I driving okay for somebody that's got like less than five hours into this game am I using do I have bad habits that I picked up from arcade games that I should probably be dropping for a title, uh, a more serious sim title like this? Uh, please let me know. Again, try to keep it positive, constructive, or at least be funny if you're going to be a dick about it. Uh, I really want to get better at this game. And then maybe if I do... Uh, help other people get uh, better at this game too, or faster anyway. I, I gotta be improving somewhat, just set a new personal fastest lap, unless that's just from burning fuel and just going faster because the car is lighter. P17 though. Okay, we're making some progress. Maybe 90 is not as easy as I thought it was. See if we can get... How many cars? See if we can get into the top 10. Seven minutes left, so about half of this race is over. Can I just bully my way through? Alright, 
six more cars to get in the top ten here. I think it's doable. Lift again. Okay. All right. So I don't have to brake there. I can just do a lift. I'm short shifting too much. It's weird to drive with a, a microphone in your face. Oh, thought I could outbreak him, but not. Cut me off there. Still not yet confident on picking up traction out of corners. I don't really know what the limit of grip is, so. I don't want to push it too much. Can we get this guy here? These guys are going a little bit too slow. Whoa! Whoa! That was scary. He wants back through. No thank you, Jay Klingman. I think that's the guy behind me. All right. Five more. I have five, a little over five and a half minutes to get five more positions. I can see them. They're not that far ahead of me. All right. We're going to make a dive here. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Whoa. Okay. Overcooked it there. No, no, buddy. Clear on the left. All right, four more cars. I can see them. They're right there. How's my downshifting? Let me know. On the left. Okay. Two down, three to go and to get into the top fi uh, top fifty percent. I got about maybe two laps left. Maybe three. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay, I wasn't paying attention there. I was looking at the clock. I almost just way overshot that turn. Okay, better exit. Uh, I was going to say good exit, but I don't know if that was a good exit. It was better exit than the car in front of us. Hopefully we can get by him here. Alright, and now the only two cars we need to get out in front of are battling right now. Can I dive it down the inside? Really? He just went off track to try and take his position back. All right, one more car. We can get this one. Yeah, this difficulty is way too slow. I'm lifting off in there. I'm still almost going into the back of them. Lower the traction control. Oh, 
Well, I don't remember what buttons traction control. The traction control is too high, it's just killing my revs. But I don't remember what button it is. Oh well. We just need to get by this car. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Alright. We're in the top half of this uh, grid now. Can we get one more? This is actually pretty fun. I think once I figure out these tracks and, and get rid of the, uh, the racing line here, I might actually try some online races. Although, seeing as it is a pretty hardcore sim title, these guys must take their online racing pretty seriously, so maybe I'll wait until I'm a little bit better before I, I jump into online races. Most people are douchebags in the F1 games anyway, so I don't feel quite so bad when I crash into people. Usually they've crashed into me like six times uh, prior in the race already anyway, so I don't feel quite so bad. Is this the last lap? Yeah, this has got to be the last lap. Come on, can we get out in front of this guy? Alright, I'll give you this. I'll give you Maggots and Beckett, and then I'll take you on the straight. Hopefully. Easy now. Okay. A little too close for the draft. Car on the right. Or the slipstream, I should say. There we go. Alright, P9. I don't suppose I'm going to be able to catch up to those cars in front of me, so I think this is where we're going to finish. Unless they start really battling and slow each other down. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. I actually closed that gap pretty pretty well though. Alright, so we came back from P21 up to P9 at 90% difficulty. Thank you guys for checking this out with me. Like I said, I, I really want to get into this, this title a little bit more. So any and all advice and tips is welcomed in the comment section. Uh, please be nice guys. I'm still new to this game, but thank you guys for checking this video out. Hopefully there'll be more ACC content coming up. Um, 
just because I kind of want to get everybody's opinion while I attempt to improve at this game. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if you think I deserved it, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.